the next part of the process is to connect the receiver to the IntelliBase buffer. To do this, we would need to access the control board inside the receiver housing. Use a flat screwdriver to open the housing cover. Make sure you are careful not to cause damage to the parts inside. Once open, use the base station receiver power cable to connect the buffer to the receiver. The serial plug connects to the port opposite the power and Ethernet ports. The power adapter plugs directly to the supply mains. Once again, check the voltage requirements before plugging in connections. The 4-pin terminal connects to the receiver board. Make sure that the triangle indicator on the plug is on the same side as the indicator on the board. Once the cable is connected, the red LED light at the middle of the board should start blinking, signifying that the transmitter is now operational. You may then reinstall the receiver housing cover.